Golden State Warriors, Sacramento Kings. Former favorite team was Sacramento Kings, but ah, sorry, couldn't get back into them anymore. But let's enjoy the show. A break on the beach, playing some golf, and now back to work as the head coach of the Warriors in year 11. It's different than a seven game series, and the pressure different than an NBA Finals game. That's. You're expected to win. It's complete failure if you don't come home with the gold. I think. And won three titles together. And he told us this DeMar DeRozan hits the jumper that DeRozan's presence will do a lot for Fox. Hey, DeRozan is going to be a beast in Sacramento. And you got some bonus over there, too. And you got Fox. Going to be pretty formidable over there. Here's DeRozan with the pull-up jumper. The master of the mid-range is on. Kaminga from deep. Won't fall. Rebound Sabonis. Led the NBA in rebounding the last two years. Changed his number. Went back to number oh. one. His box scores. Turns 37 in March. Gives it up to Pachemski. Nice pass underneath. And Green right, puts Draymond. it in. Pachemski just great feel for the game. They were having a discussion in studio about that young man. That ability on fire right there. And Sabonis on the other end. His first shot attempt goes down. Seems like that position's up in the air. Either Jackson Davis or Looney with Draymond Green. Of course. <laughs> but Sacramento looks really good. And so does Golden State. Five gets to the rim and scores off glass. How much of the action from the Sacramento Kings revolves around Domas at the elbow making decisions? Eight assists per game last year. Nice Beautiful. move by Murray around Looney and a timeout by Steve Kerr. And the fans love what they're seeing offensively early on. When he wasn't in the lineup, they were 13 and 14. With him, 60% of their games they win. You know, it's not a mystery. He unlocks so much on both ends as Steph Curry gets a second basket. Like Steph Curry going to make those three-point shots. Y'all might want to stay on him a little bit. Week. You're talking about 13 straight years, four championships together, and Steph Curry drills his second three. There's your answer. You got Curry defending Sabonis now on the switch. Green comes over to help, and Sabonis slams it. Yeah, Sabonis is uh, very willing to mix it up physically. Musa Dagger know what Sabonis was doing already. <laughs> An emphatic in preseason game number two, a signal by Draymond Green to an official. I'll be very surprised if this group is in top six. Um, I, I'm curious what Her Herder's timeline is. Mr. Looks good. And by the way, Golden State's looking pretty good without Clay Thompson. The monk going to work right there individually. I just, I'm curious what the final standings look like in the West in terms of win total and what that means. Anthony Melton from deep knocks down the three. And here's one of them. DeMar DeRozan, after spending the last three seasons with the Bulls, there's Malik Monk, who can catch fire in a hurry. Oh, that's right. Malik Monk's coming off the bench. Ooh. Sacramento might be a problem. Shot clock at three. DeRozan on the back down, points it over Anderson. And everybody what a knows, shot. Right, and he has to take that because he's under duress of the clock. I think they'd like to shoot 53s. Last year they averaged 48. They believe Andrew Wiggins is going to have a tremendous year offensively. They'll lean in. Again, Kaminga. I agree with her. Andrew Wiggins is going to have a great year this year, but he's more of a defensive presence, I think, but he's going to be great this year. I touched on this already. His first game as a king, and he's 5 of 5 from the floor. Where they're getting downhill and they're touching the paint. Green rattles it home from deep. Another three, the seventh already for Golden State. He's trying to get downhill and get off the dribble. Fox tries to go again there. Here's DeRozan. Hits again. That's a three for DeMar DeRozan. Going to do wonders for a team that does not have a lot of postseason success. Here's Curry letting it fly and hitting a three. Of course he's hitting a three. Now, I'm telling you. If this is how Sacramento and Golden State are going to look this year, ooh, yeah, you, I, the seven C is going to be. I'm sorry, the uh, the ten C may be a forty five win team. It's going to be a, a forty seven win team. That's the third triple, and Curry's got eleven points here in the first half. Gets you. Those matter. This is what we're talking about when we say this guy is the hub. 
Pajemski hit the deck on a hard lens screen. Monk was wide open and knocked it down. And we'll get you an update when we have it. Three-pointer. Good from Jones. His first points. He is going to score. 13 points on seven shots for Curry here in the first half. Jones banks and a three. He doesn't react. <laughs> It'll just look different now, but I still think they're well positioned. Yeah, Randall got hurt in the January. We didn't oh, see it again. Okay. Take good dunk. I'm not even a Kings fan. That was a good dunk. Sit to the rim and flushes it. Year nine for Sabonis. Third full season with Sacramento. As Milton hits a three, they're 12 of 19. Come on, folks. That's not easy for Keegan Murray defensively. Did an excellent job now. Ah. Box drive. Foul count it. The harm by step and an and one for Deere and Fox. They can yeah. spread the floor and shoot the ball. Obviously, if Sabotis can do that, opens things up for everybody else. And there's another three for Buddy Heald in the 13th for the Warriors. Nobody Speaking. to target on the defensive end. All five starters were very good individual defensive players as Melton continues the shooting for this team. By Murray on the look from Sabonis. I think all of these players know that their run is coming in this first 24 minutes. Your survey that just came out, the overwhelming favorites to repeat. Yeah. We have not had a repeat champ since the Warriors 2017-2018. Sabonis hits the mid-range shot again. Because <laughs> these two teams look good. <laughs> Here's Heald, another one. It's again. Buddy Heald, six of six. See over there saying you guys might want to save some of this. For <laughs> Buddy Heald's finally a golden save, huh? I remember they were trying to like, trap him at one point. No, I'm going to get myself mixed up. Never mind. Dis disregard that. A couple <laughs> weeks from now. Box in the lane. Gets the floater to fall over Looney. Tough shot. I'll tell you how tough is that? They are tough. Let's see who's on the floor then. Melton throws oh, it away. Ellis deal. with the steal, sees the clock, takes it in, and throws it down. Buddy Heald fit right in with the Warriors' offensive style in the first half. Hits another threes. Five for five from behind the arc. And obviously the expectations are going to be high for him trying to, along with other players. And here comes Pachinski. Nice pass by Pajemski, and the corner three right. goes for Moody. Just came out the other day to repeat in 2025. Pajemski got Len off his feet, fires to Kaminga, and Kaminga wow. on target tonight, three of five from deep. And make a .5 second decision. That's Pajemski. There's Isaac Jones. Nice feet underneath. Mike Brown. They be feeding it under, under that like that all the time. It's really nice looked up to to Kembe for what he meant to his country as a player but also his work in the community another three for the Warriors that by Moody and a foul about the belief that he has instilled in the other guys just his presence at practice and here we're seeing tonight in preseason as Len gets the tip in it was a teammate of Bronny James obviously Bronny's presence with the Lakers a big story as he and LeBron will become the first father-son combination in NBA history. Being a super power saver is as easy as bam. Sign up for Power Saver Rewards. Say by Gary Payton. Here's Melton who had a really good first half in his Warriors debut. And he cans a three. And so Melton's got four triples. 12 on Ellis, not a difference maker, but a smart team defender. Melton banks it in. And so that's the first two-point basket for Melton. He's got 14 points. I need to know who this Melvin is. Oh, oh, wait, is that Gary Payton? The second? Okay. Yeah. Okay. He, he was really good, and he's actually, one, he's actually one of my favorite players for Golden State. Versus how fast Steph Curry gets that. Or Clay. Yeah, it's a yeah. little, yeah. <laughs> he's filling the role of Clay Thompson at times, yes. The, uh, the, the catch and shoot. But the slow mo nickname is appropriate. Yep. And he embraces it. Oh, yeah. Twitter handle and everything as Melvin hits again on the turnaround. And one key player, Doris, Andrew Wiggins, in that run defensively. Not available tonight. He's been under the weather, so he is not practicing until this week. 
So he got the reserves in now, so you know, score doesn't really matter too much. But from what I saw that first half, ooh, these two teams are gonna be dangerous. I don't I don't know they'll be the top four, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were the top four. But I do think, you know, there's more that goes into it. Like, I remember Jeff Van Gundy talking about this all the time. Sometimes there's a little luck involved. How healthy are you? New coach Mike Budenholzer takes over for Frank Vogel. I think they're going to win an awful lot of regular season games and be well positioned. This pass by Moody in the Shot clock at three. Isaac Jones drives and finishes. Nice. There's that potential that yeah. Aaron told us about pregame. Now a member of the Dallas Mavericks, he will return to Chase Center for the first time November 12th. Count the basket and one, so no fashion three-point chance here for Guy Santos. Hanging on three minutes to go. These teams will play in the preseason again in a couple of nights up in San Francisco. And points off the bench for Sacramento. Nice move by Isaac Jones. Well, as far as preseason games go, this is a, as good as it gets offensively. No doubt. That was actually a very entertaining uh, preseason game. Like he said, you don't usually get these kind of high scores with this, but uh, especially that first half. That, that first half told me a lot about these two teams. So tell me what you guys think down below.